everyone. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sealy's Kitchen Live this morning, guys. Welcome to Sealy's Kitchen Live, live, live this morning. So I'm coming to you straight out of my kitchen. Something is hanging from the cupboard here. I think it's the air fryer. Um, yes, guys. So better late than never. I didn't come on at 10 today because... I had some running to do this morning. Good morning, Audrey. Good morning, Audrey. And for the first person that came on my live this morning is Miss Audrey on Facebook. And Audrey, you just won this pineapple corer. Yes, you won a pineapple corer for, thanks for joining this morning. So you won a pineapple corer. Yes, you're winning all the prize, you and June. Yes, good morning, Junie. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. I'm just waiting on YouTube to build up this morning. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to come on YouTube last week, but this week I am back in business. So guys, this morning, i tired for cook. Good morning, Miss Joycey. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. So for the first person um, that came on my live on YouTube, so Monica was the first person that popped up on YouTube this morning. So Monica, you won a June teeth cup. Yes, you won a June teeth cup this morning, Monica. It's a nice big cup. And I know you like to drink your coffee and your tea. So you have a nice cup right here that says June teeth. We're celebrating June teeth, people, next month. So I'll be cooking some um, Southern foods for the whole month of June. Yeah, I'll be making all the cornbreads, the collard greens, the fried chicken. Ah, uh, yes. All the Southern type foods I'll be cooking for the whole month of June and we're celebrating Juneteenth. So Monica, you, congratulations to you. You won a cup. And Miss Joycey, did you get your gift? I sent your gift to Jamaica. I hope you receive it by now. Yes, I sent it with my special friend who was visiting New York. So I hope you got your gift. If you haven't gotten it yet, I'm sure you're gonna be getting it soon. Audrey said, and well, timely, just bought a pineapple in Aldi this morning, sitting on my kitchen counter. Good. So you have a pineapple cora to take out the middle and peel it nice for you. It's right here. Perfect. Perfect gift. And of course, it's green. <laughs> it's green, of course. So Monica, congratulations to Monica and Audrey. Good morning. I think I see Carmen on um, Instagram. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's get the baller rolling. So this and Monica said June is her birthday. Okay, good. So you're getting the cup the perfect time. So Miss Joycey said it is here. Oh, you got your gift. I'm glad you got it. And I hope you like it. All right. So this morning, guys, I'm tired of cooking and, um, you know, the regular. So I decided to do some baking this morning. So I hope I can bake this real quick so you guys can see how it comes out. So I have my fancy baking sheet right here. It's kind of deep. So I'll be making a sheet um, of whatever I'm baking this morning on in this. And it's kind of deep. It's about a, a three quarter of an inch. So yes, perfect. And if the batter is too much, I have, you know, this one as a batter. All right. So let's rest my stuff over here. All right, guys. So this morning, because everything was so late, I had to drop Twine to work this morning. He got up late. He was rushing me. He was miserable. Oh, uh, you met me late. Why you never wake me up? Ugh. So it was all a crazy rush in here. So that's the reason why I'm starting so late today. So I have fell in love with a decaffeinated coffee in 7-Eleven, Miss said the thing just tastes good. So this morning while passing 7-Eleven on the conduit, I decided to get myself a cup of my favorite decaf coffee and it is so good. And of course, Audrey, I cheated this morning. I you, I had to use the amaretto creamer in it this morning, yes. 
but but I didn't put much. I didn't put much. I put a little, and I also added a lot of cinnamon on top. Yeah, so it can control the sugar. Because, <laughs> you know, cinnamon controls your blood sugar levels, guys. So I was cheating, but I kind of balanced it off with like a cinnamon on top. <laughs> so this tastes so good. I'm telling you guys, it's great. Even if it's cold, it still tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's almost finished. All right, let me put it over here so I get it out of the way. All right, guys. So, 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 so. This morning, I have three cups of all-purpose flour in here, and I will be making. I was indecisive. I wanted to make rock cake, and then I said, no, let me make some toto. So I finally decided to make the toto because I have great memories of toto. Now, I used to live in Almondtown in Jamaica as a little girl. I grew up in Almondtown. I was born at 4 Sierra Street, and Audrey remember that. Yes, 4 Sierra Street. And growing up, every Sunday, um, my mom, we weren't rich people. We were poor people. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to tell you. And every Sunday... My mom, when she cooked, she either cooked chicken, oxtail, whatever. But there is always some kind of dessert that's coming behind the cooking. So she used to make cow foot jelly. I don't know if you remember that. Like they boil the cow foot or the cow skin. They strain the water off and then they spice it up with syrup and milk, I think, and nutmeg and all these things. And then it comes out in a gelatin form like jello. I remember eating that. It will, it used to be so good, but now I don't think I would eat it. <laughs> you were you were little then, so you're not sure what it is, so you just eat because you're a kid. But now that I grew older, I don't think I would eat that again. But it was good while it lasted. And then sometimes she would make toto. Yes, it's a coconut cake, basically. That's what it is. So if you're not from the Caribbean and you're watching my live, you... And you might be wondering, what is Toto? Toto is basically a coconut cake with a combination of flour, coconut spices, and, you know, a little sugar and all of that. So I decided to make some Toto with a twist. Yes. So my twist to the Toto, I'm adding pineapple. So the coconut is already in it. So I, I call it my pina colada Toto. So let's see how this is going to come out. I've never made, I've never made this um, in the, in Sealy's kitchen. It's my first time making it. Let's see how it comes out. So let's get the baller rolling. Oh, I didn't get the sugar. I was rushing. I forgot to get my sugar. Ooh. Oh, my sugar is right here. All right. So I have some sugar right here. All right. So let's get the baller rolling. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Sister Aya. Welcome to my life. All right, guys. So I have three cups of flour in here. And to my three cups of flour, my slipper is falling off. I'm going to be adding um, a tablespoon. And let me make sure it's a tablespoon. Oh, that's a teaspoon. So I'm adding a tablespoon of baking powder. adding a tablespoon of baking powder and I'm adding one teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, let's add two. I'm adding two teaspoons of baking soda. All right. Oops, this one fell off. All righty. So I'm going to stir in all my dry ingredients right here. I'm going to add some cinnamon powder. I'm not measuring. I'm just sprinkling. Oh, this is finished. Oh, I have a backup right here. I'm adding some cinnamon powder, about a teaspoon of that. And then I'm adding some Himalayan pink salt. You could use any salt of your choice, but I'm using Himalayan pink salt. 
So I'm adding some Himalayan pink salt. Just a sprinkle of it. All right. So I'm mixing all my dry ingredients. And of course, I'm gonna be adding one cup of sugar because I don't want this to be sweet. We're all watching our sugar intake. I'm adding some coconut flakes, which is sweetened too, so I don't really wanna add a lot of sugar. So I'm adding one cup of sugar, one full heaping cup of sugar. All right. So it's not going to be very sweet. All right, so I'm mixing all my dry ingredients together, guys. And of course, I forgot to get my nutmeg. Oh, I'm so unorganized this morning, guys. Oh, I forgot to get my nutmeg. And guys, I'm gonna show off with my nutmeg now. So my big friend who was here the other day from Jamaica, Judian, I'm not sure if she's on this live this morning yet, but she, I asked my friend Richie to buy me some nutmegs because I know she works and she might not have the time to go to the market to get it. So my friend Richie bought the nutmegs for me and called her to pick it up from his house. So I had asked her for the nutmegs first before I asked Richie. So my girl says she have to top Richie with his nutmeg presentation because he bought some nutmegs in the market in a plastic bag. So my girl went to some fancy place and bought expensive nutmeg with the grater in the packet to impress her big friend Afarin because she said, no, Richie can't outdo her. So <laughs> she have to come with something better. So she came with a pack of nutmeg. And greater. So, guys, if you're on this level, you want to nutmeg, we have a whole heap of nutmeg. All I don't want to make because I don't want it done fast. <laughs> All right. So, I'm breaking the nutmeg, the Jamaican style. I have other nutmeg that I've used before, you know, but I wanted to show off with my fancy grater and my nutmeg. Good morning, Janet. And say good morning to your lovely husband for me, the retiree. <laughs> Janet know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just going to grate some nutmeg in the mix. So I'm grating about a teaspoon of nutmeg, guys. Ooh, this nutmeg smells good. This is the real yacht style nutmeg. You know, guys, I want one of this, the bigger grater to this that they sell at Carnation Market. I don't know who on this live from Jamaica can get me one of the big ones with the wood on the side. I really need one of those graters. The ones they have in the U.S. is no good. They, they're, they're just, I don't know. They're just handicapped. <laughs> These are the best ones. You see how fancy this is, but it grates the nutmeg fast. It has a lot of holes and it does the job. That's what I like about it. All right, so I'm gonna just rest it back in the plastic bag, right, Tessa? With my piece of nutmeg. All right, so let me mix this in. So I'm mixing all my dry ingredients, guys. Now I'm gonna add to my total some cranberries, some dried cranberries. Now in Jamaica, we never have dried cranberries, you know, and even if we did, it was probably expensive for the uptown people. But when you come to America, yeah, man, you can't afford it. <laughs> so I put some dried cranberries in there. But my mother used to use her raisins and her currants in the total. Yes, man. And by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you. He said, we'll say hi to my hubby, the retiree cook. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, the retiree. Good morning, Sandra. So... My mother used to bake these totas, guys, and her totas were so good. 
She used to supply the shops in Alman Town. Yes, Miss Watkin shop, the shop down on Great George Street. There was another shop near John Street called Miss Nelson. I, I, I mean, she used to supply all the shops in the neighborhood with the total because she used to put them in these little poly bags. She didn't have labels on them, but I guess most people knew who baked them because everybody know everybody in that neighborhood. Right, Audrey? And the totals used to sell off. If she gives them on a weekend, by Monday, total done, and she had to bake again. But Sunday was the the, the, the day that she baked the bulk of the total. And sometimes she would throw in a potato pudding, a caramel pudding. And these shops sell, sold these things too for my mom. So that was income in our household. Yes, that used to give me the lunch money to go to school. That time she never started working with the government yet, those days. It's afterwards she started to work with the government. But the total used to pay the bills, give me lunch money, buy stuff in the house, and trust me, that, you know, a long time, the hustling mentality is in our family. I guess that's why it's passed down to me, coming from my mother. And Janet can testify to the hustling mentality with my mother, too, when they both used to work at Jampro. And Janet can talk about my mom's cooking, the food. Tell them, Janet. <laughs> Oops. All right. So now I'm adding some raisins. I'm adding some raisins to the mix. So I've added cranberries and raisins to my pina colada total. All right. So now, guys, I'm going to add the butter. Let me wash my hands. I have to wash my hands for this one, guys. All right, because I'm going to have to use my hands to, um, all right, so I'm using eight ounces. So this is a 10 ounce pack of plant-based country crop butter, but you could use any butter of your choice. So I'm going to leave about two ounces in the container, two ounces. So I'm going to take about eight ounces out of it and I'm going to be mincing it up in this like sand. All right. Okay. I don't want to waste the butter enough. We need every ounce. All right. So I'm going to be breaking up the butter in pieces until it looks like sand or breadcrumbs. More like breadcrumbs. It's going to be looking like breadcrumbs. So I'm breaking it up in, 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 in the flour mix. until it looks like breadcrumbs. Oh my God, the butter is so cold, guys, on my fingers. Because it's coming out of the refrigerator. So this is a similar method when you're making rock cakes as well, guys. But you could also use this method to make your totos. So I'm breaking the butter in small pieces and I'm making sure that everything gets minced up in the flour mix. So I have all my dried stuff in here. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna wash off my hands because I hate when my fingers dirty. I need some soap. Okay, so I wash my hands again. Good morning, Steffi. Long time no see. Guess you're busy working. All right, so as you can see in the bowl, guys, it looks like breadcrumbs, like minced up breadcrumbs. So now, oh, I forgot to get the eggs. Ooh, avalanche. 
Oops. All right, guys. So I'm using today some organic eggs. So I'm using two eggs. So let's crack these eggs in a bowl just to make sure they're good. All right. So my eggs are good. Um, in Jamaica, we say we take out the egg eye. So I'm taking out the little white part. So I could take the rawness out of this. All right, guys. So now I'm adding two eggs to the mixture. I'm adding two eggs to the mixture. And then I'm going to be adding one cup of coconut milk. And this is not coconut milk powder. This is real coconut milk that I'm using. Because my mother didn't have coconut powder back then. She broke the coconuts and she oxed them out, as we say, break them up in pieces and she grate them. We didn't even have blender back then. We didn't have a blender, guys. We use the good old grater from Carnation Market with the boards on the side, the woods, and similar to that one. Yeah, that's what I remember her using. So, guys, I'm mixing in my coconut milk. And then I'm going to be adding some almond concentrate. And guys, if you know anybody coming up from Jamaica, send some of this for me. <laughs> we can't get it in America. It's the almond concentrate. I think you get it downtown, Haywood Street. That's what I was told. So this makes it taste good. You know, it adds spice to it and also some vanilla. And this is organic vanilla that I'm using, guys. So I've added about two teaspoons full of this vanilla because you can't make total without vanilla. You cannot make the total without the vanilla, guys. So guys, I'm mixing it up. Woo, this smells good. This smells good. So now, guys, to put the twist on it, and before I put the twist on it, I had some leftover coconut trash from the coconut milk so you can't make total without the coconut trash so i'm pouring this in and now i have some pieces of pineapple over here which i'm gonna crush in the blender because we don't want to taste the chunks of the pineapple in the total we want it to be all dissolved so i'm just pouring that in i'm not even putting any water on it i'm just gonna blend sorry I'm just going to blend away. All right. So I don't want it too watery. I just want it. Uh, so I'm pouring my crushed pineapple in the mixture. And I'm mixing away. So I'm making a very delicious torta. And guys, this is optional, but if you want, you can add a little white rum to it. But me, I'm going to be adding some rum cream to it because I want it to have a little, oh, you know, so I'm just going to grab some rum cream. It just came to mind. Oops. I shift my camera. All right, guys, so I'm just going to add some authentic Ray and Nevu Jamaican rum cream to the mix. This is optional. And thank you, Richie, Estherine, for this bottle of rum cream. Ooh, I can't even open it. Okay, finally open. All right, so I'm pouring some rum cream in it, guys. So this is going ton up. So all the holy rollers on this, if you don't want to add rum cream, leave it out. A person will put on our back bench. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. 
So this is my total mixture. And you can see the consistency of my total. And, a dish, and, and I'm going to add some more coconut flakes to this, but I'm going to be adding some sweetened coconut flakes to the total. So I'm just pouring. I'm not measuring. I'm just using like some in the pack. Because you want it to have that nice, rich coconut taste. So I added real coconut trash, but we didn't have that fanciness back then, you know, guys. We had to just use what we have. But I'm just enhancing my total because this is the pina colada type. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's taste our mix. Not very sweet. Not very sweet indeed. So I can add a little honey. I can add a little bit of honey. So I'm going to be adding, let me use this. this is a tablespoon. All right, so I'm going to be adding about three tablespoons full of honey. And this is optional. So if you're diabetic, you don't have to add, add the honey. You could leave it out, but I just choose to add a little bit more to it. All right, so let's mix this around. So guys, guess what? Tote ready. All right, you know what I like about this baking sheet? It's greasy already. You don't have to grease it. I don't have to spray it, grease it, nothing. But I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper which we call grease paper back home because that's how i used to see my mom do it she used to line the pan with grease paper and then she pour the butter so i'm just gonna do it the same exact way so bear with me guys let me get some grease paper or as they call it here wax paper so i'm just gonna line this up more oh, green scissors can't find the green scissors. It's okay. This one is dull enough. All right, guys. So now I'm going to pour my butter on the tin sheet of this thing right here. Just like mama used to do it. Because she used to cut the total, you know, guys. When they bake, she cut them in little squares. And that's how she put, the, put them in the, um, the poly bags. They used to call them poly bags back then. So the reason why I'm using this tin sheet too, guys, so it can bake quick, so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, then. All right, guys. So, total is going in. All right. So, I have extra left over. So, I'm just going to pour it in this pan. And just let me, let me get my spatula. Right, so just let me clean the edges of this pan. Maybe I should have put it in the bun pan and all. But anyway. All right, guys. So I have a loaf pan and a sheet over here. So I'm going to put it in for maybe about 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. 
So I know the one on the tin sheet is going to bake faster than the one in the loaf pan. So in the meantime, guys, um, let's talk a little bit about coconut and its uses. Coconut and its uses. And we're also going to talk about um, fruits. Fruits. So we're going to have an interaction this morning. So um, let me clean up over here a little bit. I didn't use these, so I could put them back. All right. I have extra coconut milk over here. All right. Let's clean up over here a little bit. Okay, guys, so today I decided that I'm going to be using fruits that I have in the house, right? Um, I said I'm not going to go out and buy any extras. So right here I have some um, raspberries, some blueberries, some strawberries, some pineapple, and an apple. Now, at, you know, when it comes on to the summertime, some of us tend to eat a lot of fruits. The winter time, we just grab and go and we really don't get to indulge. But as human beings, I think that we should eat fruits on a daily basis. Because growing up, I always hear that apple is good for the heart. And they say apple a day keep the heart attack away. Um, the raspberries good source of antioxidants. Strawberries. Strawberries is good for the uterus. You see the shape of the strawberry? Yes, it's good for the uterus. And blueberries, good source of fiber. So if you have problems going to the bathroom, if you're constipated, if you are not going, some people don't go for a whole week. The other day, my father was here in New York and he's gonna kill me because I'm a scandal in business. Um, he said he didn't go for three days. How can you not go for three days? You're backed up. It's like, um, your toilet needs plunging. It's backed up. That's the same. That's the same thing with the body. The body is backed up. You need to get the waste out. And that's when we start having breakouts on our skin. Um, probably we're not drinking enough water because the water helped to flush our system. And I don't think my dad likes water like that. I guess that's where I got it from. <laughs> he likes juice. He likes to make his juices and all of that. So when he came the other day, my brother and I, we ensured that he drank water. Even when he wanted his Pepsi. This man eats healthy, you know. And in believing I'm herbs, but he will not let go of the Pepsi. And I was proud of him this week when he told me that he eased down on the coffee because he liked the black coffee when it's bitter and strong. And he also likes his Pepsi. And he doesn't want the diet Pepsi because he said it tastes like medicine. He wants the authentic original Pepsi, which is full of sugar, which is not good for him. He's 85 years old. So these are some of the things we should be eating on a daily basis to... Um, to clean our system. Blueberries, it's good for the eyes. It's good for the skin. It's good for the, 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 the yeah, yeah, your organs inside. It does, it has so many um, nutrients in it for the body. Jamaican people drink too much Pepsi. That is so true, Audrey. And that's how we grew up, even at school. Elwood, you need a beaten. You shouldn't be drinking Pepsi either, but man after my heart. <laughs> yes, going to school, we thought drinking a Pepsi bust the gas because we didn't really eat like that when we go to school. When I was going to high school, matter of fact, let's start from primary school. Primary school, I did not like the lunch because they could not cook. Because my mother could cook. And when you go and my mother paid for cook lunch for the week, I didn't eat it. She's going to kill me now when, when she hear me talking like this. I didn't eat it. That food was nasty. 
the, the rice was like almost rice porridge. The curry chicken, they give you mostly gravy and bone. There was no meat on it. So I would, the little pocket money that I got, I would buy a Tasty's patty and a soda. And I think as a little girl, that was good food. But little did we know that we're not, you know, we were damaging ourselves. We weren't eating healthy because we thought that was the better food. Because the ball of slush that they were giving us from the canteen wouldn't pass my mouth to go in my stomach. So I thought that eating a patty and a Pepsi or any kind of soda was good food. So we grow up and, and you know, we eat all kind of junk at school because I used to eat candies like crazy, especially the lady down the road that used to sell the foreign candy, them, the no and later, the, um, the fruit loops and all the, the Twizzlers and all these fancy um, foreign candies back then. I used to rush and buy them because them taste good. But we didn't know it was damaging us. What we know? It's all sugar. No, I wouldn't eat it because I know the dangers of it. And when I started having kids, I would find creative ways to make them eat vegetables. Like I would cut the carrots fancy, you know, cut them in shapes boil them. Sometimes I would give Brianna crushed pumpkin and she used to eat those things, but now she doesn't eat those things. But I guess as she gets older, she is starting to eat some of these things again. So that's one of the reasons why when August come, the week before September, when our parents wake us up early that Saturday morning or whichever day it was, mostly on a Saturday, they used to give us a thing called washout. And those washouts, we used to call them washouts back home, they were detoxing our bodies, all the junk we ate all year in school, all the junk we ate while at home during the summertime. So they were washing us out to go back to school so our brain can function well and we can learn. Why do you think some of you guys who are from the Caribbean on this life past common entrance? It's the good old washouts that our parents used to give us you know, because we were detoxing our bodies. All the toxins were coming out. We would, my mom would wake me up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Although two times I faked it because I hated that tea. That tea was nasty. Yes, that tea was tasting so bad. I feel like I wanted to puke every time I wanted to, you know, try to drink it. So I would pay my brother. My brother would eat anything because he's an eater back then. So I'd, I'd give him 10 cents. And 10 cents back then was a lot of money. I would give him 10 cents not to talk and drink my tea too. So he had two cups. So he would go from morning till night. And I would fake going to the bathroom like I'm going to the bathroom. But I just didn't like that tea. But it, it, it was good for me. And when I did drink it, it was really good for me. You felt better the next day and the next week. You know, you felt light. Your appetite open again. And you're ready to eat again. So... As adults, we should practice the same thing. Every now and then, we should detox ourselves. Yes, as Jamaicans would say, a washout. We could find the same mudger herbs that they used to give us in that yellow box. Mm -hmm. Mudger herbs used to be good. Sometimes they didn't really have centipods back then, and they wouldn't give us Epsom salt as kids. Epsom salt was for adults. Oh, good Eat Good TV. Hi, everyone. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So, yes, guys. So we're talking about fruits today. All right. So today I'm going to be making a nice little food, um, fruit platter. I said food, a nice little fruit platter just to show you guys, you know, what we're going to be eating today because I'm making enough for Twine and myself. I'm not making a big platter because, you know, sometimes we don't get to eat it fast and we have to throw it away. So I'm making a small amount. So today I'm going to be washing some strawberries. I bought these this morning, guys, from um, Aldi's. So they're still, you know. So let's do seven strawberries. I'm going to do a handful of blueberries. A 
And I'm also going to do a handful of raspberries. Okay, I need one of my knives. I like this knife, it's sharp. All right, so let me just put these over here. So let's rinse these fruits off. I'm going to peel my pineapple. You know what? Let me cut it in half because I'm not going to do the whole thing. All right. I think this is enough. I should use my fancy pineapple core. You know, I, I bought one to Audrey. I should have really tested it now. <laughs> We used to use the skin of the pineapple to make a pineapple drink. But now I just saw a video on TikTok that says um, a mixture of pineapple, cinnamon, um, orange peel, and ginger. It detoxes. It helps to detox the body. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that recipe. All right. Okay. So I get all the bad parts off the pineapple. All right. So let's cut this right here. And you know, funny enough, back home, guys, you used to have these vendors. If you see a man selling sugar cane on the roadside, sure enough, you could get some pineapple. So we used to buy the pineapple in the little plastic bags as snacks, and it was so good. It was so refreshing because, you know, Jamaica is so hot. So the pineapple was so good. And pineapple is so good for a lot of things, guys. It's good for pain. So if you're having pain any, in, in any parts of your body, like in your joints, just eat some pineapple. Yes, pineapple is good for the skin too. You know the middle part of the pineapple, the hard part, guys? I normally save it. I normally save it. And what I do when I'm going to take a shower, I rub it all over my face. People are, always ask me, why your, your, your face is so smooth? These are some of the things I use. Yeah, sometimes I make my egg uh, my egg mask. Sometimes I use my pineapple, the middle part. Sometimes I also cut a piece of aloe vera from my garden over there. And I rub the pineapple and then I rub the aloe vera over it and I let it dry on my face. So when I'm taking a shower, I use my scrubbing thing. I don't use any soap. And I just scrub it off and my skin is as smooth as a baby bottom. So this is something you could also try as well, guys. So you could use your fruits and vegetables on your skin. All right, let me wash my hands again. I hate when my hands are dirty. All right. So now, guys, we have some fruits right here. So I'm just going to line out some pineapple pieces all over this little bowl right here. The square, the triangular pieces. Ooh. So it's the summer, guys. Summer is coming on, and you know, you could make little fruit platters. If you have kids, you could also cut these up. You could put them on like some screw sticks, 
Um, I'm going to save the skin because I might need to boil it. So I'm not throwing it out. Um, yes, guys. So, you know, these are things you can make. And you just put a cellophane wrap over it and rest it in the refrigerator. You could just rest it in the refrigerator. And these kids, you know, they could go and just grab some fruit sometimes. So I'm piling this up. I'm piling this up. And there you have it, guys, a nice little fruit bowl, a nice little fruit bowl. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a piece of um, plastic wrap over it, rest it in the refrigerator. Between now and Sunday, this is all done between Twine and myself. Because Twine likes his fruits. So, you know, he will come and pick one, pick two in a little dish. And he'll sit down and watch TV and eat his fruits because I'm trying to get him to eat more healthier snacks. Yes, he likes his ice cream. He likes his um, his chips. He has a special plant in chips that he likes. So I, I, I'm trying to make him eat healthier types um, of foods. So when I do this now, you know, tomorrow, because Sunday evening is the evening that we settle down and watch a movie. So instead of eating potato chips and a dip or some popcorn, we can snack on some fruits. Healthy choice. Right, Ryan? I see you on Instagram. Thanks for joining the live. My buddy, buddy, Ryan Johnson. Big up to you. Big up to you. All right, guys. I don't want to open the oven because whoo, I think I think this thing is rising again. So my Toto is almost finished, guys. It's almost finished. The one on the, the tin sheet, it's... I, I see it's all up and everything. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes to make sure it's fully baked. So this is a healthy option, guys. Fruits and vegetables. And if you don't want to eat it because some people don't like to eat fruits, you could also make a smoothie with it to go. You know, you're going to work. You have a nice smoothie cup. You throw it in the blender with some ice, whip it up, and it gets to the bloodstream faster. So... It's a healthy option. All right. So let's win some prizes now. I have three prizes left. So let's see who has been watching my videos. Let's see. Okay. So the next prize winner um, is going to win a spiral veggie slicer. Yes. So you could put your cucumbers in and it comes out in a spiral form. You could put your carrots in. And this is a great um veggie slicer so question so recently i made well no um i made something on live a couple of weeks ago a couple of weeks ago i made something on live okay so julian is on the <laughs> She gonna get the answer. I have to change the question, guys. The question, uh, 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 I have to change the question. She just popped up on my Facebook Live. Okay, let's change the question. All right, so recently, one of my big friends from Jamaica came and she made something in my kitchen. Who can tell me what she made? If you can tell me what she made in my kitchen, you win this vegetable slicer. Ah, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, nobody. Fish fritters. Yes, salt fish fritters. And Audrey is the winner of this vegetable slicer, guys. She's the first one that answered. So Audrey is the winner of this vegetable slicer. So Audrey, you have two gifts today. You already won a pineapple cora, and now you win a vegetable slicer. All right, so the, the, ne the next um, prize that we have here is a Cuisine Art drying mat with the rack. Yes, guys, so if you don't want to use the dish drainer, this has a drying rack, and it's also a mat, and it's name brand, Cuisine Art, yes. All right, so some time ago, I made Aki in the oven. 
on one of my videos. Who can tell me what I made in the oven with Aki? Who can tell me what I made in the oven with Aki? You win this um, cuisine art drying mat with the rack. So if you can tell me what I made in the oven with Aki some time ago on one of my videos, you win this drying mat. Come on, guys. Where are my, where are my winners, prize winners? It's on my, you, uh, I'll give you clues. Um, it was done in my muffin tin. If you can tell me the name of the dish, you win this drying mat. I did it in the muffin tins with Aki. Please tell me what I made. If you tell me what I made, then you win this Cuisine Art drying mat set. Come on, guys. Good morning, Marion. Welcome to my live. If you could tell me what I made with Aki in the oven. Okay, tell them don't say. But Audrey, you just tell them the answer. <laughs> That's the answer I'm looking for. No, I have to, no, I have to change this question. You, you gave away the answer, Audrey. You gave away the answer. I made Aki cups in the oven. Audrey, you gave away the answer on Facebook. <laughs> she said, don't say Aki cups. It's actually Aki cups. So I cannot give you this prize, Audrey. Sure, let's ask another question. Uh, let's see. All right. On one of my short videos on YouTube, on one of my short videos on YouTube, there is a special rice that I did. There's a special rice that I did. Oh, Janet said planting. No, it was Aki Cups was the answer, but I forget about that question. I'm asking a different question now. All right, so I made a very special rice on one of my YouTube short videos. It's rice um, cooked up in my wok. Tell me the name of that dish. Good morning, Mr. Spence. Retiring, you're late for my show. <laughs> oh, boy. She said, oh, boy. He wants to join me on video? Oh, boy. I watched that Thursday, that rice. Uh, yes, but what kind of rice it was? What kind of rice did I make? I didn't even post that one on my short yet, but I have a similar one on my short. So it's the same name, basically. What kind of rice did I make? She said pork. No, 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 it wasn't pork. It was a very special rice. It's on, one of the rices on my YouTube short and one of the videos I posted this week. And no cheating, guys. No cheating. <laughs> no cheating. There's a very special rice that I made this week. And it's on one of my YouTube videos this week. Gunga fried rice. Yes, Janet. Gunga fried rice is indeed correct. Gunga fried rice. Gunga fried rice. And you are correct. So... So, 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 so. Oh, Judy, Janet answered before you. Gungo fried rice. Um, so, and shrimp and chicken was in the fried rice. So the answer is still correct. Um, so Janet, you win this cuisine art drying mat with the rack. Yes. So I have to get this to your sister so she can get this to you in Canada. So congratulations, Janet. You win this drying mat. All right. So I have one more prize left, guys. One more prize. And it's a Juneteenth cup. It's a Juneteenth cup. It's very big. Nice for your teas. Nice for your soups. All right. So my next question is, some time ago, I made a very special pudding. Now, I make all kinds of pudding, and Ryan can testify to my pudding then because I'm used to eat them back in the days, right, Ryan? <laughs> I made a very special kind of pudding. It's not the regular, traditional Jamaican pudding, but it was a pudding. It was with 
a vegetable. It was with a vegetable. Tell me the name of the pudding that I make and you win this Juneteenth Celebrate Freedom Cup. I'm waiting on answers. Let me check on my total. Oh, the total look like it, beer. <laughs> yes, guys. So if you can tell me the answer, you win this cup. So I made a very special kind of pudding. No, it wasn't sweet potato pudding. It's not the traditional Jamaican pudding, but it's made in a similar way. She said, drunken Gigi Toto. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting on the answer. It's a vegetable that I used to make the pudding. That's the only clue I can give you to that answer. Zucchini, no, incorrect. It's not Zucchini Elwood. Uh, anybody else? Instagram? Anybody on Instagram want to try? Anybody else on Instagram want to try? I made a very special kind of pudding. It came out just like the potato pudding, but it was a vegetable that I use. If you can tell me the name of the pudding, then you win this June teeth cup. She said, Judy, and I will let my sister take it to Jamaica for you when she visits. Uh, you giving away your gift, Janet? Wow. All right, guys. I think I smell my Toto. I think the, the, okay. So it was indeed carrot. So Elwood, you won the Juneteenth cup. It was indeed a carrot pudding that I made, right? It was a carrot pudding. So you're the winner of the Juneteenth celebrate freedom cup. Let's give it up for Miss Elwood. All right. So let me get a mitten. Let me check on my total. Oh, I have to put this one in the corner. This one is still raw. And this one is baked. This one is baked. Let's, let's test it before. Ugh. All right, so let me test this. Want to make sure it's not raw. The knife is coming out clean. All right, so that means it's baked. The knife is coming out clean, guys. Ah. Oops. So I have to put the other one in because it's still raw. All right, guys, so we have to wait until this cool a little bit. I see it sliding in the pan. All right, guys, so my Toto is ready. Yes, man, Toto ready. All right, so what I used to see my mom do, she usually um, mix some sugar and butter, melted butter and sugar in a little dish, and she used to paint it like the top to get this nice glaze. So what I'm going to do, instead of using... Instead of using uh, some raisins in this, instead of using just sugar and the butter glaze, I'm going to use some honey. Just a little bit of honey. So I'm just going to use a little bit of honey to glaze the top. It's nice and succulent. It's nice and succulent, guys. I could tell the, the texture is very soft. Because total not supposed to be like a rock cake, you know, guys. It's supposed to have a nice, soft texture. Mm. All right, guys. So, 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 so. Let me use this and hold it because it's hot. So, guys, this is what my total looks like. So, I'm going to wait two minutes for it to cool and to tell you how great this tastes. Yes, man. Let me eat two fruits in the meantime. 
Me eat two raspberries while it cool a little bit. Mmm. So guys, I used to see my mom, she would mark them just like this. Guys, it's so hot. I can't even wait till it's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scoop it out. All right, so we get one of my spring plates and I'm gonna scoop out the first piece just to show you that it's fully baked. Oh, so guys, my total is fully baked. And I'm going to taste it for you. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, I can taste the rum cream flavor in it. Who say you can't put to a twist on total? Hmm. Who say you can't put a twist on your totals? Mm-hmm. I think grease paper still under the bottom of this, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it. Mm. So, guys, I have to run away and leave you. So, my total came out nice and delicious. So, guys, here you have it. A pina colada total. Total with a twist. So guys, if you like what we cooked in Seely's Kitchen today, I want, well, I say cooked. If you like what we baked in Seely's Kitchen today, I want you to like this video, share this video. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube or my Facebook or my Instagram pages, I want you to go over, hit that subscription button, like, make your comments, and try the recipes yes man try the recipes janet said wait a bit colleen you are a lefty also no i'm i, I use my right hand it appears as if i'm a lefty on the live i don't know why but it appears as if i'm a lefty but I, i'm right-handed this is my right hand yep it, it appeared that way because i'm on video um janet everybody asking me if i'm a lefty no i'm not a lefty i was born a lefty but my mom brought me out of it when i was learning to write so I, I'm right-handed. Yep. So she said she's ambidextrous. No, I'm not ambidextrous. Only with some things I'm ambidextrous, but I can't really write properly with this hand. All right, guys. So before I run, um, I'm still working on the recipe book. Right now, I'm working on the ebook. It, it takes time to really um, write out these recipes and make sure I get them correct. And um, I'm working with someone who is helping me with the editing and everything. So everything is taking time. So I'm going to have the recipe book out for you guys soon. And you will also have access to my ebook online. Yes, man. I do it officially now. Yeah, man. Now I make the thing turn up. So I'm trying to get to 10K subscribers, guys, on YouTube by the summer. So, guys, please share these videos. Ask your friends to subscribe. I want each person. If Guys, can you do me a favor? I want everyone on this live right now to, to contact 10 of your friends. And please ask them to subscribe to my channel. YouTube channel. Please. Please and thanks. So, Angela, I know you're just joining me when I'm about to run. So, as Jamaicans would say, what good. So, I want everybody upon this live. Instagram. I'm big up to you, Ryan. Thanks for watching. Miss Joyce from Jamaica, Monica, and all my regular viewers, 
on Facebook. Without you, this would not be possible. And congratulations again to all the winners of the prizes. I know you will find use for the prizes in your kitchen. And guys, just have a great weekend. Go to church tomorrow. Praise the Lord. And take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Mm, it's just so good. Mm. It's not ended up.